Well, when you wake up and begin your day, do you ever feel like you're like one of those little hamsters on the wheel there? You're just going through the motions of your tasks and priorities, and you're not truly happy. You may feel that you are blessed and better off than most people, but something is missing. There's no true sense of positive fulfillment. Well, our next guest says that's because you're not living the life you want. In today's My Empowerment series, life design coach and author Michelle Mattia will inspire you to design the life of your dreams. Morning to you, Michelle. Welcome to the show. Good morning. This is exciting. I'm very thrilled to be here. All right, I want to tell our viewers, you know what, grab your little piece of paper and your little pencil and take some notes because this is going to be good. Michelle has some amazing advice to share, and I, and I do love it because, you know, people may ask, okay, so how do I even begin to design the life I want? I mean, what are the steps? The first most important, in my opinion, is you have to embrace the knowing that you deserve to have a dynamic and what delicious life. What a key life. word that is, deserve, because a lot of people feel they don't. No, and, and women, we're used to being the nurturers and we're used to being givers, and so the idea of doing something for ourselves feels very, very foreign. Mm -hmm. So you have to embrace that knowing right off the bat. And then, have fun with this. This is about remembering and reconnecting with your passions and what makes your heart sing. So I tell people, start writing out what comes naturally to you. Everything. Writing it down. Writing it down on a piece of paper. What comes naturally to you? Nothing can be too small, but be very, very specific. Mm -hmm. Those are all keys to what will bring you fulfillment as you're going through a transition or transformation. And then also, think about that one moment in your life that was just exhilarating and you would relive it again and again. What is the breakdown of that? What are the components and elements of that? Because chances are it is very closely tied into those very things that you value in your life, that you want to incorporate as you're moving forward. There are a lot of people who feel like, okay, I'm in a bad situation, and yes, I do feel that I want to change, but how do I even go about doing it? How do I get to the new? How do I get rid of the old and get to the new? I mean, what do I do? Because people do feel like they're just stuck. Oftentimes we feel stuck, and what's interesting is that during the process of making life changes, yeah. blocks and obstacles, fears arise because it's our ego saying, hey, wait a minute, because your heart is doing the talking. That's normal. What I tell people, ask yourself, what are you getting? What are you receiving? What are you getting out of staying stuck or being anchored in the past? Because there's usually a payoff. So, for example, if somebody doesn't apply for a particular job that they know they're perfect at, What's the payoff? Well, they don't have to worry about being rejected. It's working through things like that mm -hmm. to help you get started. Mm -hmm. the, the next thing, too, again, I keep telling you, have fun with this. This is exciting. So research and learn more about the, uh, the areas of your life that you want to change. If you're looking for that transition into a new career or industry, learn more about it. Informational interviews. You want to make sure that your values, your passions, your strengths, as well as your current re responsibilities are in alignment with the very path that you're on. All right, so let's say you do want to do that, and let's say you're taking these steps, right. but it's not happening as fast as you want. You know, we live in a society where people want things. Right. We <laughs> like want what that. we want. We want what we want, and we want it now. Right. How do we stay motivated? Well, first of all, I want people to start keeping a daily gratitude journal. At the end of every day, write down all the wonderful things that have manifested in your life. Everything that you're grateful for, the people that have shown up, but also what you have done to move forward with the creation of the life you want. So often we forget about that. We forget about all that we've actually achieved. I can't tell you how many people before they even get out of bed are sending emails, oh. sending text messages, updating Facebook, mm -hmm. turning on the TV. Mm -hmm. How are you starting your day? Empower yourself. State a daily intention. Who are you willing to be today? I'm willing to be courageous. I'm willing to be creative, focused, centered. All of that stuff is going to get you motivated to move forward. And you know, we talk about goals. I I don't know about you, but oftentimes creating those goals, we're so focused on step 10 that we haven't even looked ah, at steps right. one through nine. Right, right, right. Make them easily achievable because that's going to motivate you to keep moving forward. Don't you also think that mentally you have to be in the right space to do it? Because a lot of times when we are on a journey like this, all those little negative thoughts can get into your head and, and can really just kind of paralyze you and hold you back. How can you deal with that? How do you work through that? You know, the, the first part is... Just, you know, you're aware when it's happening. What I love is when people actually are aware that it's happening. Uh -huh. They'll wake up in the morning and they'll feel pumped and they'll feel energized on this goal, this divine idea. And then the next 10 hours they're sitting in self-doubt or they're sitting in um, self-criticism. And then they go to somebody else to validate, hey, guess what, this is what I'm doing. Are you sure it's okay? And then they take on that negativity. It's time to challenge those negative beliefs, those negative thoughts, and turn them into something that's more positive, like an affirmation. I have an e-zine called Michelle's Daily Dash, and every day there's an affirmation, a daily challenge, and a question of the day. Because I want your day to be empowered, and I want to ignite a spark that's going to 
just you're going to want to move forward towards your goals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's a matter of just staying focused too. And I know that that a is part. a big part of it as well. Michelle, thank you so much for being with us you're on welcome. the show today. This is great. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh, it was wonderful having you. Really good information. And if you're ready to design the life you want or to know more about Michelle with one L, please visit her website at michellematia.com. Got to get that one L in there.